Dearest Ludmilla, upon finishing this letter, you will burn it. By the time it arrives to you, I will be gone and he will be dead. I can no longer remain at Berolstad. I can no longer pretend and live this life with your vile, cruel, syphilitic old brother. I can no longer deny what I am, as much as I can no longer deny what he is. We are both monsters, but he is far more dangerous. I am not a maenad, I am not an ancient goddess, but I am wild. And to that life I must return. But having been kept in captivity for so long, I shall require some monetary compensation. As Felix and I oversaw the financial planning for your family, I have signed over Berylstad to your ownership. But I shall be keeping the other properties your family owned, mainly the houses in London and Venice, as well as the French villa. Along with these documents, you will find a written confession from Klaus. Your father and eldest brother's death was no accident. It was no illness. It was poison. This fate was intended for Felix as well, but he survived. I would have brought him to you in Vienna, but unfortunately, Klaus's original intentions were enacted. Felix has been buried with kindness. Kindness I have not saved for Klaus. I save no kindness for the man who enacted terrible things not only on me, but for the only person to perhaps truly care for me. You may ask why I did not eat him. Because, dear sister, that would require him to be inside me one more time, and I would not allow that. He begged me to do it. He begged me to tear him to pieces but I chose a more appropriate fate. The same fate that befell your great Aunt Ershabet. It's been three days now, and the screaming in the wall has ceased.